Hello guys, this is Paul Mitch, Toy Review, Captain Marvel, KO. Hi everyone, in this episode, we will be reviewing Captain Marvel aka Miss Marvel. Onto her accessories, she comes with a pair of fist energy effects, translucent, that you can attach in her fist hands, just like that. I took a sample pictures that look how great she is with that effects on his hands. I do some flight, flight pose. By the way, the stand is not included in this figure, okay? She also comes with a pair of open palm hands. Uh, okay, uh, just let's focus the camera so you can see the details. Like the, okay, okay, uh, there you go. As you can see, there's a great detail on it, even the paint is not so bad at all. She also comes with the relaxed hands that you can use for flight pose. Look, uh, there's a great detail put into this figure and also the paint job isn't bad at all. You can see how metallic the red is. And the last but not the least, her alternate head sculpt with his mohawk hair. Look how very accurate the detail. It very look like in the movie. And also, this brings the whole outfit together, especially when you put this alternate head with with her mohawk hair. I really love the shiny metallic red. That's so awesome. Now let's check the painting details. Now if you look in her hair, uh, it doesn't really look like in the movie and also the her face. He doesn't even look like Bill Larson. But the outfit, it's very accurate in the movie, even the gold line. Uh, I, by the way, I put the gold metallic panel on it, that's why the paint has smudge, but it's okay, I can do whatever I want on the video. <laughs> and now on the articulations, okay, um, uh, let's just focus the camera. Okay, her head can loop that far, side to side swivel, increases the rotations, but the hair is entering. Okay, let's change this alternate head with this mohawk okay. okay, now she can look that far, can look about that much. Uh, her shoulder can... Wait, let's just put this thing on. Okay, uh, okay. Now shoulder can come up pretty far. And can do a full 360 rotations, as you can see, like that. <coughs> And also she comes with butterfly cat, all SHA figures have that. And her ab crunch, you can crunch up that, that far. You also have a pivot. And she can kick up that far, can kick up forward that much, but cannot kick backward. Uh, she, she also comes with a thigh swivel and a double jointed knees. Also the ankle pivot and her toe joints. Okay. Okay, so let's try her to do uh, the flight pose. I'm just gonna fix these joints. So in the movie, uh, Captain Marvel is the most powerful Avenger, I think. Oh, the agony! I'm just getting a problem of putting this head on this figure. Maybe you gotta try to put some force in it to attach it on his neck joints. Hey. All right, there you go. Now, Captain Marvel is a flight man. Now she can be in action. Now, let's measure Captain Marvel. She's standing 6 inches. In size comparison, Captain Marvel is standing next to Hulk from Age of Ultron, which I reviewed last episode. <clears throat> and then to next to Scotland from Avengers Endgame with, without his helmet 
and my favorite figure spider-man from homecoming movie <clears throat> and let's check let's see him with captain america from avengers endgame okay there it is now stand still okay and now last but not the least Peter Quill or Star Lord, also known as Star Lord. So, in summary, this can be a good looking figure with this alternate head, with this mohawk hair, and also it comes with a cheaper price. And I'm gonna be adding this on my collections. So, thank you for watching and see you on my next episode. Peace! Peace.